Hey everyone, it's Jim, Victor Alpha 7, Sierra Hotel Golf, here in chilly Chilliwack today. Today's video hopefully will be a quick one. What I want to do is show you how to use WinLink and Direwolf, but on Windows this time. I needed it to send some logs to someone for a program that I'm testing out that I hope to have a video soon on, and I thought why not shoot a quick video on how to do this because I don't know that there are any. So here we go. Okay, so here's the gear that I'll be using today. I've got a signal link here with the cable that's attaching to my Kenwood THF6 and then just a laptop running Windows 10. I'll start sharing my screen now. So first place we need to go is to the GitHub location to, Direwolf, to download our version of Direwolf. We'll grab the latest version they've got compiled for us for Windows. I'm on a 64-bit version here so I'm going to download this 64-bit zip file. So let's go to our downloads here double click that. Let's just extract it in place. Doesn't matter where it lives actually, you can move it to program files if you want for cleanliness, but we're just going to run it from here. So first I'm going to show you, we're just going to try to run Direwolf as is. No changes to the file. Of course Windows wants to save us. Let's run anyways. Okay, so this first screen is important here. Available audio input devices and available audio output devices. And we want to look for our signal link, which will show up as USB audio codec. So in this case, it's 0 and 2. So remember those two numbers. Let's get out of here. And then we'll open up our direwolf conf file. Now I'm going to scroll down to the audio device section here. And this A device here with the numbers, we want to uncomment that. And then remember it was 0 and 2. For WinLink, that's the only change we need to make. So let's X out of this, save it. Let's fire up our direwolf now. And there you can see by the asterisk beside the sound device that our audio USB audio codec is both our input and output. So that is set up the way we want. And now let's fire up WinLink. I'll show you what you need to set up there. So we want to open a session here. Let's just go into settings and I'll show you what settings we need to use. So our packet TNC type here is going to be KISS. Okay. The serial port that we need to use, this will be TCP. Okay, and then our TCP host or port is going to be the local host, which is 127.0.0.1. And then our port number is 8001. You can see that that port number right here for our KISS TCP client. Okay, so you update those settings. Enter in the call sign you want to connect to <clears throat> and hit start. Let's cross our fingers that it works. And there you see you hear it connecting. Took a couple tries, but there we go. Session complete. And that's it. I hope that helps you out. This is Victor Alpha 7, Sierra Hotel Golf 73.